Hello everybody, it's time for another Comptip Tuesday. Uh, I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. So as promised, another Comptip Tuesday. I was working on a shot yesterday where we added some some thing that emanated light in the background, and there were already there were already people in the scene, um, and and that light had to interact with the people in the scene onto the floor, set a shadow, and luckily they were rotated out. But what I usually see people do is something like this, where they just kind of match it in 2D and they kind of corner pin it underneath. But that's a hassle. Because if they're moving, if they're walking, there's going to be gaps in the feet. You're going to have to corner pin them correctly. And it's just too much work, man. So don't do that. It's it, it's not going to look right. And, um, you know, it's just not necessary. I'm going to show you later. One other thing I see people do is just kind of duplicate the cards. This is our guy, by the way. This is Toby. He's red. So you would kind of like duplicate the card, put it underneath him um, like this. I bet you've done that. I've done this. And it, it's, it kind of works, but when it starts walking, you kind of you have to match the, the, the foot exactly underneath here. And it's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. You gotta if, if you have multiple people in the scene, you gotta move the card along. You gotta you gotta stretch out these bits with like a grid warp. The whole script is slow. It's terrible. So the way to do this, I'll come back to this setup in a moment where it works perfectly. But the way I usually do this, but I can't do it here, is because I have Nuke Indie. I usually have it with a V-Ray setup. And how it works, if I get rid of How it really works is just add a simple light. So you have your V-Ray scanline renderer and you have a V-Ray light. And this all works with V-Ray. And for the life of me, I cannot get this to work with the normal scanline renderer. I have no idea why. It's I've, I've many times I've looked this up, what the problem is. I've, I have the receive shadow here. I've got the cast shadow here. I've got the light casting shadows. Somehow this doesn't work with the normal nuke setup. I don't know, maybe it works for other people. Maybe this has never worked, but for me, it it has never worked. But what you would do is just, you set up a light that will cast a shadow. You have your cards, bada bing, bada boom. It would, it would give you a shadow. Now this works with V-Ray. You just set your samples to 20, you get a beautiful shadow. Okay, so do this. It's just a simple, Try that next time you have uh, you have somebody on cards in the background or something else. But the way to do this, if you don't have V-Ray, there is a way. So what you do is you have your cards and you have your camera, beautiful. And you have your light, which is over here, it's casting. All right, same setup basically as the as the V-Ray one. So you have your floor, you apply a diffuse material here. You apply a diffuse material on the guy, but you don't necessarily need it. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, so you got your light there. So this part of the setup is normal, yeah? Well, let's remove these lines. This part of the setup is normal. The extra bit what you tack on it's like a projection setup. So what you do is you feed the card of the little that of Toby. Let's call him by his real name. You feed it into the scanline renderer, but you view at it from the light. So this light and this camera are in the exact same position, and the, so you can see the the axis of the of the light is matched to the camera. So if I move the camera, it moves the light. Perfect. So you get something like this. It's looking at it from behind and above, right? So what you then do is you project with that same camera onto the floor with an apply material. See, you have an apply material, you have the matte input, put it on the floor, back into your scene. Now, if we look through it, perfect. You got no weird gaps. Everything is aligned. And this will work as well as when it's walking, when the foot lifts off the floor, it works perfectly seamlessly. 
This is what you want to do if you don't have the V-Ray set up. This will eliminate so much of that manual labor and tweaking and bending and grit warping and corner pinning. Um, I'll show you one more. If you want to get rid of the actual guy, just get rid of the diffuse. There you go. So what you want to do if you, or if, so this is the method that you would do if you set up, set up the, the cards, uh, the people on cards that aren't already in the scene. If you know what I mean? You, you literally just have stock footage or whatever you want to put in the background. This is what you would do. If you already have people in the scene, you just project it. Let's actually do this. You just project it first onto the cards. And what you have to do then, because usually get, you get some geo or something from, from uh, 3D, some type of porn, porn cloud or whatever. You just move it along to wherever that person is in that scene. Okay? For this, it doesn't matter because it's obviously not in the scene. There's no environment. So yeah, much better. You have no weird shitty gaps. You could just use this. You can blur it a bit. You immediately have some. You immediately have a depth map too, so you could you could see defocus with the depth map. And uh, what was the thing? Put it here. Is that not working? There you go. Boom. Isn't that beautiful. So that's how to do it. It's uh, it's it's gonna save you a lot of headache. Just learn this by heart instead of just uh, you know <laughs> keep getting dirty with this type of stuff. And that's it. I hope that was helpful. Try it out. Just play with it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.